Hey, this is Mikey with a quick tip. Um, we're talking about maybe a problem you've had. For Here's an example. Um, we have this logo, a very nice logo. And as I scale down the logo, I've got the shape layer stroke on it. Nice bright red. And it seems to not scale with it properly. And it's kind of annoying. I can come in here and you know keyframe the size so that it looks good. If I need to move this logo around or something like that in my um, animation, I want that to scale properly. So let's write a quick expression on how to make that automatic. Mikey's Production Tips is brought to you by Cinema Spice. After Effects tools, video overlays and backgrounds, and sound effects. So I'm gonna jump down here into the size of the stroke is where I want to put this expression. And if you're not comfortable with expressions, we'll take it slow, you can pause, you can zoom in and look at the text and we'll make it nice and easy for you. So first thing is I'm going to option or alt click on the stopwatch. And what this will do is it'll open up the expression dialog box where I can write in my expression. Now what I need to do is I need to have this size scale relative to the scale of the precomp or the logo that I have this applied to. And so right now, uh, scale is at 100%. So basically this is how I want it to look. So as it goes down to 9%, I want this 31, 34.1, uh, let's just make it 40. I want this 40 to be 9% of 40 instead. So let's, um, the first thing we want to do is type in value because I'm going to apply you know a multiplier to the value which is already there and if I don't do that then it's going to be hard coded in and things like that so just trust me type value times and then in parentheses we're going to first pick whip the scale and since scale has two units to it most of the time they are um, the same it doesn't really, we can't pick both of them. We can't just pick scale. We have to pick one of them because this has got two units to it. Size just has one. And so it's going to have an error if you pick scale because it's going to look for, you know, two numbers when it's needing one. So let's go in and just pick the first one. And then we're going to take that and divide it by 100. So we have value in parentheses transform dot scale. Uh, square brackets, zero square bracket, divided by 100. And then you can see what that does is now 3.6 is, you know, is 0 0.9 times 3.6, or 0 0.09 um, times 40 is 3.6. And that is proper scale. So it's now going to change the scale of the stroke with the scale of the layer. Pretty good. One quick little weirdness about it though is if we go backwards, look at that. I'm now in negative scale and that's not working. So let's add one more thing to this to make it a little bit more robust. And that's this transform um, scale zero. I need to make an absolute value of that. So the expression for that is capital M for math dot ABS for absolute value. And then open parenthesis, and then let's go to the end after that square bracket and close that parenthesis. And then now, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative scale, it'll keep it the right size. So that's how to create an automatic scale for your layer style stroke. This is something that's really just specific to layer styles. So if you have different strokes, um, it's not gonna be the same thing. Um, but if you're using the layer style strokes, this is a problem that I'm sure you've experienced before. So this is how to solve that. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, stray thoughts, or even tutorial requests, just please put them down in the comments below. Thank you.